So I was dead wrong, but also somewhat correct in my previous theory video based on the enshrouded roadmap that just got released. So let's go through that roadmap, shall we? So right off the bat, I am going to say like some bullet points are not going to gain much of my attention. So I'm probably going to fly over those. Those being like performance, gameplay or graphic improvements. I was kind of wrong, but also kind of right. So this is pretty much like a night version of the screenshot with which they tease new content that I had in the theory video. So it's like a nighttime view, it's a different character. I thought this was going to be a gateway into the mountains area. But I also said, and this is where I'm somewhat correct, it could have been a new boss area. Like actually somebody in the comments of that video actually was completely correct. They said like, oh, this green bit looks like it's like powering something or someone and basically implying like, oh, it could be a new dungeon with like a new boss. So kudos to that person because I was just like, ooh, mountains. Also, hollow halls. Um, I said like, oh, this looks Asian. Probably not. Although that name doesn't say a lot. Anyway, Steam Deck support, performance improvements, smoother, higher FPS gameplay, location improvements, workshop craft from Magic Chess. Now, this might really show, oh, Poison is a robot, because I never really found this to be that annoying. Like, if I needed to grab stuff from Chess and go to, like, the NPC or, like, a workstation, my mind would just kind of shut off. And I would do that on autopilot. So for me, having to constantly walk back and forth to craft stuff wasn't as annoying. But let me know down below in the comments if you found that, that annoying. What I did find annoying though was, as far as I'm aware right now, all the stacks you can only split in half. So if you need like a specific number of them, uh, good luck. But if you like need, let's say one block or something, you have to constantly split it in half until you get one block. So this is probably going to be like, oh, have the slider so that you can split like a certain number, which is nice. Now, then there's the multiple NPC instances. What this means, if you don't know what this means, and this is again, as far as I know, so I could be wrong here, but so pretty much if you have like base A and base B, you can have your carpenter in base A and then a sort of a copy of them in base B. So you can have like multiple copies of the same NPC. How that works? Magic. <laughs> Very fun if you are like playing with other people and everybody has like their base and you don't have to constantly just like juggle back and forth to the NPCs. Sitting on furniture. I'm just going to rename this point Working Knees because we are finally able to bend our knees and sit on chairs and such. I am wondering though if like NPCs will then also be able to sit on furniture. I just want my NPCs to move around. Here's the funny thing. I want my NPCs to walk around and such. But what's funny is uh, we already have animals that walk around. And the main thing that I find fun with animals, like when you have the goats in the starter area, it's kind of funny to just chase them off a cliff and see them fall. But uh, that could actually then happen with NPCs as well, that you just like hurt them off a cliff because AI sometimes just fucks up <laughs> so i want my red trees so you know i want to know more about this so it's more trees to grow i don't know if this is like the new plants i mean by this point like if i zoom out this much you can count the amount of pixels on one hand but this could be like the new plants this could also just be the existing plants that you can plant and it's just like a screenshot from now because, I mean, this is a roadmap. They don't have to show us teasers with everything. So yeah, that's also just a note of like, this is like these bullet points are probably going to be like earlier on, like probably this half of the year. And this is like later in the year, maybe even next year and such. I have seen the screenshots. You guys have gone feral with the Hobbit houses and I still can't fathom to build one. Like whenever I try to build a Hobbit house, uh, my brain just like fries itself don't know how to do it but yeah round doors and windows i mean this is basically just like the door to back's end yes i have seen lord of the rings and the hobbit i like lord of the rings better 
but I mean, no, Hobbit is fine. Then pot plants. I think these are like some probably are existing plants, maybe some new plants. Like these, this is a yellow flower, but it doesn't look like the yellow flower that we have in game kind of. So it could also be like the desert flower. It does kind of look like that. So it could be like new plants. It could be existing plants. I mean, it makes sense to also have the existing plants. I am curious how these are going to work. Like, can you just like pick a pot and then just shove a plant in it? Or is it like the pot comes with the plant? That's what I'm curious about with potted plants. But yeah, now I don't have to finagle with like bronze barrels and dirt and trying to stick a plant into it. Now this one, I mean, we already knew that this was going to be a thing, new building materials. This kind of feels like more like Kindle Wasted, like sunset or an evening, something like that. But yeah, just new building materials. Now here's like the replayable world quest, better quest sorting. But this doesn't draw that much attention for me, but I can see how this would be really fun for others. When you're like playing things with multiple people, then you can like replay quests again because they, those were maybe like out for a week or something. Yes, bitches, we are going to be able to build our cities and have them feel lived in. I really hope that this one comes soon. But yeah, townsfolk NPCs. Now, when it comes to this picture, again, if I zoom in this much, um, you can play like tic-tac-toe with the amount of pixels. But this might be like artwork for the townsfolk. It might also just be artwork for the armor that we have in-game because whenever you look at like concept art for games there's usually or almost always like concept art like this where they're just like posing the different clothes and armor in that game like this so this could be like showing us how the NPCs might look it could also just be like the existing armor and they just use that image to show off like oh townsfolk NPCs again like the same with like the trees this could just be existing but it connects to what they want to bullet point then vanity system this is pretty much just well i think it's going to be like a mirror or like a vanity and you can change your appearance after the intro or character creation of the game editable signs this might again be i mean i'm a builder so this is why i build different houses for all of the npcs so all of my building stuff is with the carpenter, all of my smithing stuff is with the smith or the blacksmith. So I never really needed editable size, but I can see how this is like really handy for others. But I'm just a robot. And no, you're not allowed to watch what's in those chests in my base because none of it is sorted. <laughs> one that i didn't expect i mean there's another one. Oh wait i forgot one this is the this is the other one that i didn't expect uh all right i here's the thing musical instruments none of the npcs right now have anything related to music so this is just a theory but are we going to get like a bard npc or are the NPCs like, it's the Huntress just suddenly going to draw out like a loot and start just jamming away. I could see her do that. But it could be fun to introduce like a bard NPC who then gives you like the ways to craft musical instruments. Because it seems like such a specific thing that you wouldn't be able... I mean, the carpenter would be able to like craft like musical instruments or such, but... It seems so specific to just give to like any of the existing NPCs. This is the one that I was going for, but I did not, I, I probably should have looked at like the upvote thing for new features in a sort of like they have a full page for that where you can upvote things on what they, or what you would want to see added to the game. I did not know that downswalk pets were going to be a thing. It's just meaning like, just like, pets for the town soccer are you also going to be able to have a pet can i run around or basically race around on a goat or a vuka that would be fun <laughs> just have races with vuka or just like the nomad highlands chickens <laughs> just have like a chicken race that would be really fun but also 
now I don't like now I feel bad about chasing all of the goats off the mountain. And then speaking of the goats, <laughs> animal farming. So yeah, we're going to be able to eventually farm animals. So this makes it a lot easier to get like furs, like the pelts, the meat and such. So this is going to be really fun. And again, I'm going to halt like the process on the town. Well, again, I wanted to say this with the trees because I want the red trees, but just having like farms surrounding my town, that would be nice. Like not just like plant farms, but also animals. That's going to be nice. So enemy patrols. Can I just, I mean, here's the thing. I like that the enemies in and shouted are dumb because I like to lure them to bombs and then blow them up. But it is probably more just like what's the word for it immersive if the enemies actually walk around well they do walk around but this is probably just like outside of their like settlements or camps weather system so i mean just put these together with like the hobbit holes i've seen people like i want to be in my hobbit hole watching the rain outside while sitting near the fireplace we're going to have a weather system, eventually. Like again, none of this says like when exactly it's going to be, but it's going to be soon, hopefully. Like hopefully all of this is going to be added in 2024. Now here's the thing where I was kind of right, although I think everybody knew that this was going to eventually come. I just thought this was the sign that it was going to come. But uh, no, there is going to be the mountains biome. Yeah, <laughs> I think everybody knew like, oh, eventually, like there's lore, there's like terraforming already there. Like the mountains are going to become a biome. I just wrongly attributed it to uh, this picture and not just in general. Now, here's the thing. Portals to other servers. How? Anyways, let's move on from that, because uh, nameable bases, I mean the competition, like I'm just going to be honest, the competition really showed us that this is necessary. The nameable map locations, also really handy if you have like, like I have like some map locations on for like amber re resources and such, just to know like where it is. But sometimes I just go into game and I'm like, what the fuck is this location? What did I do here? Named tombstones. Here I'm just going to shame you guys because how many times have you been dying that you need a named tombstone? I'm not joking. How many times have you died? Let me know down below in the comments because I never needed a named tombstone. I think the most times I've died is because I was falling while building the alchemist's house or the mansion. But then there's new enemies and bosses. I think this is the... Uh, how is she, what is she called? It's like the ones in the sun temples. And then there's fixes and polishing. But this could also be new NPCs. Actually, this could be like the NPCs. Like giving, like looking at the color, it could be actually the NPC that is in the hollow halls. Or like the enemies in the hollow halls. It's just a green glow and then combined with like the green here. Now, then let's move on to what could be later this year. So yeah, this is just reading this. This is going to be like second half of 2024 and they hope to probably have this in like the first half. And I'm just going to say kudos to you King Games because this is a lot. Like this is a huge amount of stuff. And to have that in like probably maybe like the next six months, I'm just going to like give them a little bit more time. But like, this is a lot, if you really think about it. Like, to put in Townstalk NPC, give them AI and search. Like, well, most likely AI. But, like, to put that in and to just, like, have, like, a full new biome, new dungeons. Like, just looking at this, this just looks like a lot. So, like, again, kudos to Game Games because this is going to be a lot of work. But anyways, then we have sharing and visiting of bases. So this is second half or later in the year. 
create a shared gameplay experience world events that's going to be an interesting one because that thinking of that it's just like oh yeah world event sets like a very important or big boss in let's say the meadow highlands like this could actually be a really nice thing to make you go back to older areas then instance dungeons again just like this like can you see just the matching color schemes although this is like later in the year so this is probably not connected might be connected but also might not be connected i'm just drawing this line of just like yeah this looks like it could be connected now of course more biomes this doesn't cat this does kind of look like the Revelwood, but also kind of not. It looks kind of well, it actually looks like a big forest, but then in like the springlands or the meadows. And water. <laughs> Alright. People have been asking water a lot, and I think King Games really knows you because of the exclamation point. Like they really know that people want water. And yes, the like the glowing blue blocks, I actually really hate them because it just, uh, it's just too much fantasy for me. But anyways, that's going to show or that's going to be it for like the roadmap of 2024. The things that I'm most excited about are, of course, the more trees, town stock NPCs, like just these trees, like the NPCs, the pets and the farming. I'm really curious about like the musical instruments because I never really thought of like that as like a thing that I would want in Enshrouded. But it could be like really interesting with like a bard NPC and just have them singing. Like that would be a fun thing if they actually have like voice lines for the bard and like you put them in a tavern or him, her, they. Like if you put them in a tavern and they just start singing, just without just constantly just singing and playing music. And then, of course, the mountains biome. I'm not that much of a dungeon crawler. Although, it's going to be interesting. But it's just, I want to build. But anyways, let me know down below in the comments what you are most interested in. Like, what are you the most excited about when it comes to this roadmap? Let me know down below in the comments. If you like this video, hit the like button because it does help out a lot. If you want to see more, there's the subscribe button. There's also the memberships if you want emotes. And if you actually want videos earlier. Because I do try and make it a point of like trying to get the videos out to the memberships or the members a day early. Doesn't always happen, but I try to get it a day early for them. Anyways, have a wonderful day guys. Bye bye.